Black smoke fills the sky in Clinton County after a popular flea market goes up in flames. Good evening, I'm Marsha Bonhart. And I'm Mark Allen. The Caesar Creek Flea Market near State Route 73 and Interstate 71 caught fire about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Alexa Ashwell is there live with our top story at 6. Alexa? Well, Mark, Marsha, things are calming down here, but unfortunately, quite a bit of damage remains. Officials say the fire broke out in Building 5, which are the red doors you can see just beyond the white van. Firefighters put out the blaze a few hours ago, but it was a long fight. Here is video compliments of David Gully. You can see firefighters battling the thick black smoke. In fact, officials had to do an all call, meaning surrounding departments throughout both Clinton and Warren counties came to assist. In all, we're told 100 to 200 firefighters helped put out the blaze. Now it's unclear what caused the fire, but we do know it started where the main aisle and aisle five meet. Vendors tell us the food court is in that area, but again, we do not have a cause confirmed. It remains under investigation. Now, thankfully, no one was injured when the fire broke out. The property owner tells us the market was not open to the public when this happened. Everyone who was inside at the time, however, was able to get out safely. Many vendors lost everything. And um, I came out here, I called uh, someone I know who was over across the street when it actually happened. And uh, she said it started about three booths down from her. And all they saw was a little bit of smoke and everybody started yelling fire and just running out. I had uh, five and a half booths and lost everything. Handbags and jewelry, t-shirts for uh, breast cancer. Now, officials tell us one firefighter was taken to a local hospital and treated for smoke inhalation. He is expected to be okay. As for the market, the property owner tells us it will be closed tomorrow, but for more information, visit the uh, website at CaesarCreek.com. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.